my beautiful subscribers. Yeah, I need to stop stealing uh, Harvey's line. Okay. Well, anyway, it's um, Friday night, about uh, coming up on 11 o'clock. Um, we did the 4th of July thing, went out of town for just a little while. Um, so anyway, earlier um, I went by and I, I, I wasn't 100% sure that I saw uh, Chuck, Chuck's uh, motorcycle at the day's end. I, I wasn't sure that was his or not, so I didn't stop. And I also figured if it was his, um, he's already had a long ride. He probably is probably got into his hotel room and uh, crashed. So I figured, eh, you know, whether it's him or not, I'll just wait till tomorrow. Uh, but I got home a little while ago and I found out that it was him. Uh, I even noticed that uh, when he looked out the window, he had the curtain halfway open and that was where uh, I'm going to turn my brights on. Oh shit, that's not what I want. Where the hell are my brights? That's pathetic. Anyway, um, there was a window half open and that's exactly where I saw that bike. So that was him. So uh, sorry about that, Chuck. Uh, hate to leave you on uh, the 4th of July stuck in Mexico, Missouri with nothing to do. But anyway, so um, I'm going to run by and, and uh, see if he's still awake. I left a message on his video and, and sent him one in uh, his uh, LV email to let him know what time I'd be over. I figured tomorrow, wasn't sure what kind of a ride he wanted to do, whether he wanted to take uh, you know, a fairly long ride or or because of all the miles he's already put on the bike and uh, Sunday's upcoming ride, which is going to be a long, monstrous ride. Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of like between uh, 350 to 400 ride miles. I guess it's not a monstrous ride. Oh, look at all the fireworks. Probably can't see that though. But, uh, you know, I didn't want to... I didn't want to wear him out, you know, for... for Sunday's ride. So, I give, I give you the choice. What I kind of figured was uh, maybe uh, head out to Columbia, Missouri tomorrow, which is about a 30-40 minute ride. Uh, we'll just take back roads or something and uh, we'll either eat at, go up there and eat at Hooters or uh, maybe go to Chili's and get some ribs, whatever you like. And uh, then they've got a, a cool um, Harley dealership and um, Oh, uh, what the hell am I trying to think of? Uh, the hunting and fishing store. Great big huge store. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but you, you know what it is. I'll put it like right on the screen. Bass Pro. So I can check those two places out. When I head to Columbia, I usually uh, hit one or both. Or one of the sport bike shops or whatever for the mall ah. so we'll head over there and see if Chuck is awake I kind of hate that I left that message so late and, and he you know doesn't really know what's going on at this point god damn it I knew I was going to catch a red Listen, guy, learn how to fucking drive. I'm on a bike. You almost fucking killed me. You understand? Get out and kick your fucking ass right here. Ah! Oh, son of a fucking bitch! Oh. Okay, well, this, uh... This, uh... <laughs> This video log has went from, uh, oh, my fucking chest is just pounding. Oh. 
Uh, you guys have no fucking idea how close that was. Man, I'm just fucking shaking. Shaking like a motherfucker. <sighs> well, what just happened if you if you didn't if you couldn't tell was I was sitting in that stop sign and I looked in my rear view mirrors and all I saw was a car with the brakes locked up coming at me, straight at me. And uh Fuck. Well, that would have been a bad day, day for me, man. You know, that's that's one of the fucking reasons why I'm actually thinking about, you know, giving it up. And uh, but that shit can happen, man. Um, you know, just like it happened to uh, to Rick. You just don't never know, man. You know, I feel bad about yelling at that guy, but, you know. Oh, man. Okay, well, this is, uh, this is now, uh, going to be, a a, um, a tip video for the new riders do everything you can to have uh, the cagers see you when you're riding uh, <sighs> um, and that tip I gave Murph Gal the other day um, that came in you have no idea how fucking how fucking uh, How fucking handy that came in. When I saw him coming up um, with his brakes locked up, um, I immediately, you always got to, got to keep that motherfucker in first gear. Don't put it in neutral. People that put it in neutral at stop sign are retarded. Keep it in first gear. Always watch your mirrors. Always fucking watch your mirrors. If I hadn't washed my mirrors just now, I I would probably be still back there laying on the ground. Always watch your mirrors. Always be able to take off at a moment's notice. Uh, you know, with the bike, we're kind of lucky. You know, you're right here. You can you know you can give it gas and pop that clutch, and you can be up you know up ten feet you know with in a, in a matter of a second uh, where a car can't do that but that definitely saved my ass right there I don't know how far I how far I moved up I, I didn't move up very far because it kind of it almost kind of died on me I didn't really I didn't really do it very well but I got it up I got up I moved up about probably two feet something like that I don't know it's hard to tell man with all that with with what just happened man I just it, everything's kind of a fucking blur Oh, okay, well, Chuck, I was going to go see if you were up, but uh, I'm going home. <laughs> uh, you guys, what the hell was that? I got to go see. Something laying in the road where we were er where we were earlier. If we drop something or what. Oh, soda can. But, um, you know, you knew guys, and I I put myself in there as one of one of you. Take it easy. Don't, don't fucking ride ignorant, man. One, one moment of stupidity or um, one moment not paying attention as well as you should, and, you know, you're just going to be a fucking statistic. Okay. See you guys.